As a student, you'll need to use Google Docs to complete a variety of assignments and projects, including essays, graphic organizers, and book reports. Without a doubt, Google Docs is the application that every student should master. If you're on a mobile device, however, Google Docs looks a bit different from the web browser interface. This video will teach you how to use the mobile app version of Google Docs. You learn two ways to access the app, some basic formatting and sharing options, including how to use the little-known explore feature to do research right within the app. Finally, I'll remind you how to submit your assignment in Google Classroom. Go to your Google Drive and click the colorful plus sign on the bottom right-hand corner. Choose Docs and a new document will open. If you've downloaded the Google Docs app, you can open it directly from your apps list. You can choose to open a new document or one you've already created. The first thing you should do is to name your document. I'm calling mine My Favorite Foods. Let's do some basic formatting. You can change your font and font size just as you would in the web browser interface. Double tap to select and drag to highlight your text. And then you can bold, italicize or underline just like you would in a web browser. I'm also changing the font size for the title. To adjust the line spacing, click the large A next to the plus sign on the top right hand corner. A dialog box will appear. Go to paragraph and change the spacing to your desired width. I'm going with 1.5. To add a bullet list, click the appropriate icon on the format toolbar. If you want to choose a different style of bullets, go back to the large A icon, click paragraph and choose from the list of bullet styles. Use the same procedure to add a numbered list. Go to the three dots on the top right hand corner and select spell check. You'll be given suggestions to correct any word you've spelled incorrectly. Choose change and Google Docs will automatically correct your spelling. To insert a picture, click the insert icon on the top toolbar, choose insert image from web and then type the picture you're looking for. Pick the image you want and then click insert to add it to your document. Another feature you may need to add is a table. To do so, go to the Insert menu, click Insert Table, and choose the number of rows and columns you need. Easy peasy. You can do your research right within Google Doc using the Explore tool. You'll find it in the drop-down menu when you click the three dots on the top right-hand corner. I'm looking for info about the types of pizza and their origins, so I will type that in. Here's an interesting Wikipedia article that can help. Before I turn in my work, I want to add page numbers. I'll go back to the insert menu and choose page number. I'll go back to the three dots to turn on link sharing so other people can see my work. Another way I can share my document is to choose share and then add the email addresses of the people that I want to see my work. Now that I'm done editing my document, I'll go back to Google Classroom and submit my assignment as an attachment. I'll leave a link to my previous video to remind you how to turn in your work on Google Classroom from your mobile device. To sum up, I'd like to say that there are many other features of Google Docs that we haven't touched on today, but this basic tutorial should help you get started. If you have any questions about how to use these features or any other features of Google Docs, leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful. I'll see you soon with another quick tutorial.